Hello, Cancer Nation. <laughs> I am Phoenix Rising. How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> it keep going in and out. I'm Phoenix Rising. I'm here to do your tarot reading, your love reading for couples for the first two weeks of April. Hopefully, you guys are doing great out there with the coronavirus. I know you're probably bored, so... I'm here to get your reading on. Hopefully, I put a smile on your face. So, um, I'm new to Facebook. I mean, shoot. I'm new to YouTube. So, um, I just started my channel. I think it's been a week today. Um, if you have been watching other videos, I graciously thank you guys for the views. I am at 350 views in less than a week. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, must be doing something right, right? So, um, but all the subscribers. The subscribing and um, watching my videos, I just greatly appreciate it. With all humbleness in my heart, Cancer, I do. So, let's get into it. Let's get into this reading <clears throat> that I pulled. So, I usually pull the cards on camera, but I lose viewers that way sometimes because you guys get bored. So, I did a pre-shuffle and I already pulled. Now, if you want me to continue to pull on camera, I need you to comment at the bottom. Um... Email me, let me know what you think, but I can do the pre-shuffle before I start the reading or I can do it, um, you know, I can do it without you guys actually viewing it, is what I'm saying. So you just decide, I don't want to waste your time. So we're at a minute almost. And I'm just going to get started now. Okay, we're, we're past the minute, I'm looking at something else. Okay, <clears throat> Cancer, here we go with your reading. The first two weeks of April, this is your love reading. For couples only, I'm doing singles after this, okay? <clears throat> the title of this reading is, Can We Get It Together? And this is why. Because the star is here in reverse. So, the star basically means boredom, hopelessness, lost faith. Um, maybe some of you are just focused on the negative. Missing the positive aspects of the situation, Cancer. Um, stuck. I'm picking up um, disconnect to fix the problem. You have to heal, clear the bad energy in order for things to go back to the way they used to be with you and this person. For this to be this way. Because you're feeling like this right now. So that's the star. Now the reason why the star is here. <clears throat> I asked the deck. Why is the star here for cancer in a relationship? Two of Cups. So you are bored, but this is your soulmate that you're with. This is someone, some of you have been with for a, quite a long time. Um, some, it still might be fresh, but this is definitely the soulmate card. You're giving me soulmate energy. Um, it may it used to be a perfect union, but it's not. And I don't, when I say perfect, it, it's still imperfect, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, best friend, ride or die, unbreakable bond. This is you, Cancer, and your mate. But you're feeling bored and, and bad energy right now. <clears throat> so these cups is not as way it should be. It's like you kind of like off balance due to uh, spirit is underlining old patterns, uh, bad energy, negative, negative, negativity, period, right? And that's why the four of swords is here. Breaking point. Um, one of you have disconnected. Seeking iso uh, solitude, isolation as a reaction to like overwhelming pressure of life itself. It could just be the situation with everything. Paying bills, stuff due, you know. And it's couple couple problems. It's deep. Quality of time away from um, stress is very needed. But of course, you really can't go nowhere right now. So this is why you have this energy. Remember why you two came together in the first place. And you need to figure out how you'll deal with stress in the future, the things that have happened in the past, how you're going to deal. But time out for rest, regroup, uh, reconnection, uh, fear and anxiety. I'm also picking up with this card. Uh, slow recovery from a hard time. Cancer is what the relationship is. Slow recovery from a hard time. So for your first set of cards, you got, hold on. You got the star card because some of you, hold on, okay, there we go. <laughs> you got the star card because some of you are bored, maybe missing a perspective. 
and you need to heal wounds and fix problems so this disconnect to be reconnected so you guys can be back to two of cups because that's what it's all about is that's what it's, all the energy is about you guys being back together just as strong as you was in the past breaking point so it's time to do something we got to do something cancer because you're not happy or either your partner's not happy however this reading is resonating either it's either you or your partner's energy the queen of cups in reverse is here this is uh a water sign woman and i believe it's you and i mean that in the best way emotions not happy get control of your emotions Somebody is upsetting you. Burnt out. Like I said, and this is what... Wait, 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 wait. Where did it go? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Breaking point. Because you're burnt out. Breaking point. Because you're burnt out. <laughs> you get it? Hold on, y'all. Work with me. Spirit said, tell you that. Yeah, you're at your breaking point. Because you're burnt out on this whole situation. With this cups upside down. Somebody's being clingy, needy. That's not good. That doesn't mean it's you. It could be your partner. It could run your partner off or they're running you off. And maybe that's why you upside down, queen. Lack of trust, worried about partner. Um, you keep forgetting about yourself. You come first. You have, in order for you to take care of your household, somebody, you have to come first. Your needs are important. Don't neglect yourself. Don't let nobody take advantage of you. Good nature. This is you. But you're getting tired. And some of you don't trust your partner like that. Not all, just some. It's sniffing some, mm mm. I don't think it's right. I don't know. Let's see, though. <laughs> okay. So, with that queen, I'm like, why is the queen, why is the the, the cancer queen unhappy? Why is why is she flipped upside down? The Knight of Wands. Wait, okay. King of Wands. I'm sorry. The King of Wands is why. This is, for some of you, abuse, violence, a womanizer. It does not mean everybody. Nasty, rude. I'm picking up somebody. It's just rude. A bully, forceful. Ooh. Fire sign. Some of this is a fire sign. It's a, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius energy. Stubborn. Big ego. Uh, it does not have to be. It can be a different sign. This is a dictator as well. I'm picking up. But for some of you, it's your king just that made broken promises he haven't kept. Things he said he was going to do, he didn't do. But this uh, is like taking action for what you want. It's not going to fall in your lap. So you got to put your foot down. Now, if you're a man watching this and you're a cancer, um, this could be someone that the woman is actually cheating with, is what Spirit said. If it is for you, it's, this could be the other guy, if you're a man. This could be, he could be a fire sign. And then some women that are cancers are dating fire signs. And this is why this card came up. And just because you're not dating a fire sign don't mean, does not mean that you're not getting this energy from your man. Okay. And if, like I tell everybody, in any, vi any video I make and when the abuse card comes out, get out. But if it's not abuse and y'all just arguing, fix it. If especially if he's being respectful. You're not being called out your name. Nobody's putting their hands on you. Some things are worth fixing. You got the moon up, uh, upright. Uncertainties. Insecurities. Looks good on the outside to the world is you guys. The illusion that you're giving. Everything's okay, but it's not. Misunderstandings. Miscommunication. Um, deception. Jumping to conclusions. Old issues coming back up. I'm picking up. Things are not as good. Things are not as good as they look to people. Things are not as good as they seem is what I'm picking up. And it's a question of deception. Someone's questioning. Is someone cheating? What's going on? But you need to find facts too. Spirit said, everybody that is watching this, your spouse is not cheating. So you have to, you need to know for sure. You can't just go out there making assumptions, going off on people. You got to ask questions. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. 
So with that, you got the temptress <clears throat> upright, and that means harmony, balance, perfect balance, couple, love, soulmate. So you got soulmate twice. That's why I keep telling you. Hold on, because I don't like to mess up my spread. Double soulmate. Ding, 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 ding. It's somebody, somebody you know, one of your soulmates in your lifetime. Some people say you get three. It depends, but this is definitely soulmate energy, respect, commitment. Will resolve issues. And if it's you leaving, you still gonna balance yourself out. That's what you need to know. You got the seven of pentacles with that temptress card. I was wondering why the temptress was here upright, is what I asked the deck with the soulmate energy. And it's the seven of pentacles. This is the fertility card. Someone could get pregnant as well. Couples working towards money goals, efforts to show um, show each other things. Hard work paying off. Weddings. I'm picking up wedding, car, house. Um, nurturing each other. Relationship will thrive is what this Seven of Cups means. Brings in, bringing that temptress balance, the, what the temptress needs anyway, to be balanced out. That's why you got the Eight of Swords upright. Some of you are still feeling, um, well, this is actually judgment days, which this basically means like it's time. Um, for some of you that the, the uh, you're going to see the light, like betrayal. What happens in the dark will come to light is what this card means for some of you. Crisis, drama, dilemma, victim. But some of you just feel hopelessness. It may not even be betrayal. Some of you feel trapped, confined in a corner, your back against the wall. You don't know what to do. But some is just like, uh, that's the dilemma. I feel a little hopeless, a little powerless. But you don't have to feel that way because this energy is coming. Temptress, you're going to balance out. You're not going to feel trapped. You're not going to worry about money and house and car. All that's going to come because the temptress is here. Upright. She's sitting up. Cancer, she in a good mood. That's that's that means it's gonna work out. You got the justice card in reverse. That means caught up in deception and cheating. You got to say you keep getting some of you keep getting deception though. Endless arguments, or you feel like you're not being treated fairly at this point. Like, what's up? Like, I don't really feel like you giving me what I need, how I need to be treated. That could be taking out the garbage, washing the dishes, it could be small stuff. We are in lockdown. Teach people how to treat you, though. Because when someone sees that you're not going to deal with the BS, oh, they won't treat you like that. Bye-bye. Treat me right or I'm gone. I will ghost that ass. Try not to cuss on my channel. So hard. I have a potty mouth. I'm sorry, guys. Um, You got the Four of Cups with that justice in reverse. Soul searching, thinking, um, being ready to being ready to let go. Some of you are like, you know what? I'm just over it. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. Some of you are like, let's start over. Newfound hope. I'm sorry, guys. Newfound hope. It's like, you know what? We can be better. We can work on this. We're going to do the work so we can get better. That's the whole objective of the whole situation. If we do the work, everything will go back to the way it was. And that's what genuinely both of you want because you, you're the soulmates. Why would you want anything else? You still love each other. I'm picking that up too. High Priestess. Upright. <clears throat> Infatuated with beauty. When, for some man watching this, this is the woman that you're trying to make things right with. This is her. She's the High Priestess. This also means good sex. Okay? Highly desired. Maybe y'all gonna do some making up. But for some of you women, you're the high priestess. Okay? Good energy. And last but not least, you got the four of pentacles um, upright. Uh-oh. This four of pentacles means, <clears throat> for some of you, jealous, controlling. Um, it could be having a bad effect on a relationship. And it, it, it's supposed to because no one wants to be controlled. And no one wants to deal with jealousy. Do not hold on tight. 
Don't smother your partner. I said that earlier. It was, um, uh, what card was that? Mm. Oh, I can't think right now. I'm sorry, y'all. But I, I, if you rewind the video, one of the cards I said was clinginess. I can't remember now because I'm out of move down. But this is like double confirmation. I'll find it if I need to. Um, but it basically, this is basically making decisions to forgive and move on or just let go. Because if you don't, it's going to hold you up. Don't hold on to grudges. It's toxic. It, it's like resentment. It's destroying the foundation of what you've already built. Okay. Bad effects on the relationship. Jealousy and control. It's bad. That could, that could be bad. And, or just holding on to the past. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Okay. Now, this queen's energy in reverse. This could actually be um, someone that is maliciously trying to, uh, involve herself in your relationship. This could be a mother-in-law, a stepmother, your mother, his mother, his sister, his cousin. It does not have to be someone someone is cheating with, but it very well can be. This is an air sign for some of you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And they are all in the mix. And it does not have to be that sign, just so you know. But for some of you, mostly it is. And it's like, why are you in the mix? What's up? Um, some of you are afraid to be single. And this is why this card came out. So you're kind of settling. That's not good. But this is also, like I said, a bitter woman that's interfering. It means freedom uh, and restricted. Freedom, I mean, you feel restricted. Manipulator. This could be a manipulator. A woman that's all in the mix manipulating somebody. Unforgiving. Deceitful. Um, this could just be you as well being harsh to your mate, though, on a flip note. But remember, no one's perfect. And things will change. This, But this could be you stabbing them up because you're like, you know what? I'm fed up. For some of you men, this is the, the woman you're dealing with. And she's an air sign and she is cheating. However, this resonates. This is a general love routine. Let me stop talking like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Two of wands. Reverse. Fire. Bored, but it's safe, right? Oh, I'm so bored. But it's safe. We've been together a long time. No, no, no. We can't do that. Want to leave, but afraid? Don't be afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. For some of you. Leave. Now, for some of you, this is a sudden turnaround. From being withdrawn and detached. It's a turnaround. This mean this is your last card. This means some of you, and I'm picking up a good 80% of you, things are gonna turn around. 20% of you are about to walk out on your abuser. So I also spirit told me to tell you guys to click on my other readings to watch to see what zodiac sign your mate is. Because I'm getting a lot of people to tell me that they're watching other videos that go with this video. Um, and or go with any video, they'll, re they'll watch their own zodiac sign and then watch their mate. So, um, there are other links on here to click on to see if it resonates with you. Um, and last but not least, um, I did get two songs. I got this card, this is your oracle card that I want you to meditate on. But I got Donnell Jones, Where I Wanna Be. It's the oldest, older song, so you know, I'm, I'm 38, so but Donnell Jones, Where I Wanna Be. I, I, I listened to the song before a long time ago. It's basically like a high school romance. They got kids, and it's like it didn't went sour because they've been together so long. So that's the one song I got Spirit gave me. And the other song was um Get It Together, 702. And that was the strongest song. It's like, I don't really want to go, and I don't really want to say, but I hope and pray we can get it together is what I'm picking up on. So I'm going to do your Oracle card. Okay. I hope you guys liked it. I'm putting all my thoughts and time into this. My baby. My channel. Okay, so let's see what your meditation is for this. Okay. Oh, and I always tell God, everyone to um, meditate on that frequency. 639, if this is your meditation card. For cancer couple. Be open to that which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough as you embrace an unusual approach. You are a you are on a soul path, spiritual growth, which is swifter but not always easy. 
you do not have to contrive your own happiness, but you can dip into the bliss within the body to lighten up the mental state and remind yourself everything's working out beautifully because it is. This is you and your mate. You holding on to his woman. Tell him to hold on to you, cancer woman, because you one of a kind. You better get it right, honey. Tell him Phoenix said it, okay? So, my cancer people, I will do uh, singles next. Not that you guys need to watch that, but if you do know someone. I appreciate you guys coming. Please like, um, subscribe, come back and see me again. I will be doing all kind of readings. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing... Um, General for cancer and also um, career. I'm sorry, I'm having brain farts today, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do can um, I'm gonna do a general reading for you guys as well eventually in the next week or so, and then I'm going to do a uh, singles cancer love reading after this. And the second part of your cancer love reading comes out the middle of April. So look for that. Uh, if you click the subscription box, you will automatically get a notification. Um, if you get the notification link, it'll let you know when I'm going live or when I'm, uh, you know, basically, um, putting up another video. So, but if you don't mind, if you got friends, girls, that's, you know, you women, Hey, click the link and send it to your girl. Cause trust me, y'all gonna have to talk about these readings. Okay. So I thank you all humbleness in my heart. I thank you guys for watching and supporting. Have a good, good day and happy Monday guys. See you. Bye-bye.